Good day. In this video, we will show you how to check the flow sensor of the Technics electric boiler and replace it if necessary. Before starting the maintenance service, it is necessary to turn off the power supply and drain the water from the boiler. To start, we need to remove the front panel of the boiler. We draw your attention to the importance of avoiding cable detachment. For this, it is necessary to detach the control display and the grounding cable, which is attached to the front panel. The flow sensor looks like this. It is in an easily accessible location. There are two possible methods to check the flow sensor. First one is to check on the stand. You need to remove the flow sensor. It should have three wires of red, black and yellow colors. Between the red and black, it is necessary to supply a direct current voltage of five volts. For further testing, we'll need a multimeter. Turn on the voltage measurement mode rated at 20 volts. Next, we connect one probe of the multimeter to the black wire and the other to the yellow. In static mode, the indicators should show zero. To simulate water flow, we need to create an airflow through the sensor by any convenient method. The indicators should show 1.5 to 2 volts. If the measured value differs from those specified above, then the sensor is not working. Another way to check the sensor is directly on the boiler. We need to remove the flow sensor by unscrewing two nuts. Disconnect the pump power terminals, terminal W. Following safety procedures, switch on the boiler's power supply. Go into the boiler settings and turn on the first parameter. We turn on the pump here. Next, we move to the third parameter, flow measurement. Similarly, we create artificial airflow through the sensor, while data on the simulated flow amount appears on the screen. If the screen shows zero, the sensor is not working, and it needs to be replaced. To replace the sensor, the old one needs to be removed. In our case, it's already been removed, and disconnect the connection wires. The final step is to install the new sensor, performing all actions in reverse order. We have just learned how to check and replace the flow sensor for the Technics electric boiler. Thank you for your attention. 